Builders Choice Tackle. We're here to show you how to install one of the Burnowin mounts into your boat. It's not a hard process. We're going to walk you through the tools that's needed and then the steps on how to lay it out and drill the holes and mount it. So the tools you're going to need are going to be um, your drills. You don't need three drills, but it's just easier if you have the, the different attachments to them. Uh, you're going to need the burn a wind mount. You're going to want to put the burn a wind backing plates on the back so you disperse the pressure of the holder. You're going to want some latex gloves, some blue painter tape, a hole saw. The size on these I think is two inch, uh, two and a quarter inch, sorry, two and a quarter inch for the hole for the mount. Um, you're going to need a drill bit. A socket makes it easy, a small socket, a ruler, it comes with all the stainless hardware, some denatured alcohol or any kind of alcohol to clean up, 5200 or 4200, um, some rags, a little bit of grease to pre-treat your holders, and then a shop vac to help clean up. So the Burnerman mounts come with this nice handy template. There's no guesswork as to where you should mount your your mounts. Uh, you can put them in position. <clears throat> this is the maximum distance that you can have your rod holder and be able to use all the different angles on the on the rod holders. So we just take some tape. You can tape this down. This is the actual footprint of the rod holder. If you're doing multiple rod holders, you can lay them all out and see how it looks. Your templates and your um, it's really nice because they have an actual picture on there so you can kind of get a visual of where the, the actual mounts are going to be the first thing you want to check before you start drilling holes is look under your gunnel make sure there's no exposed wires or anything else that you might be drilling through so always be careful when you drill what's underneath um, <clears throat> we're gonna use the, the screws require a quarter inch drill bit and when you have nice, fresh, clean fiberglass like this, you're gonna wanna start off your hole and not chip up your fiberglass. So the key to doing that is, is using the drill backwards. So start your hole, center it on your mark, and then drill backwards. And you have a little bit of play to move the drill bit around to get it perfectly centered. So backwards, and that prevents the drill from the hole from chipping. In the normal forward position, and you want your drill in the highest speed because you want that drill bit moving fast. Got a two and a quarter hole in hole saw, and again you want to go backwards. Reverse, reverse it so you get nice, you don't chip. So we have our holes cut, <clears throat> you 
you're going to want to put um, <clears throat> the mount in and make sure your holes are lined up and everything fits before you start gluing it all together. Um, sometimes things aren't perfect, so you want to make sure that everything fits. This one's a little tight here, so you can always go back and take your hole, hole saw or your drill and open that hole up. So that one looks like it's a little bit off. Okay, and then you want to make sure that your backing plate fits on too. So that the holes line up with the backing plate. And they do, so it fits. Fits well. Okay, so we have our, our mounts here and we're ready to, we have our holes cut in the gunnels. Um, we're gonna, we're ready to glue them in. But before we do that, you want to um, go through this and add a little grease because once these are mounted, you're probably never going to want to take them apart. So there's just two screws here. You're never going to want to take them off the gunnels. Um, take the two screws off as a cover plate here. And then we like to use a little extra grease because you just have to remember that this is a permanent thing. Put a little bit of grease on your finger. <coughs> This plateless stuff, there's there's a spring in here. It's a little tricky, but there's a spring in there that is is holding them. You can see there's a pin and then a spring. So what I like to do is I just like to put a layer of grease on all of this metal so it doesn't rust up. <clears throat> um, with the keep in mind that you're never gonna pull this apart again. Probably for the life of your boat. So just put a layer of grease there. It's, it's a protective layer, it's gonna prevent rust and it's going to keep everything moving. You want to grease up the spring too. Um, make sure there's nice grease on there. You're going to put the spring back onto the holder and then you can take your finger and go in this housing a little bit put a little bit of grease there. Just keep things moving. You don't have to put an excessive amount otherwise it's going to get really messy. Um, there's two a spring. This gets a little tricky. You have to open the spring up to get it back in. You can use a screwdriver or just push it in like that. So there it is, back in, you can see it locked in. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a tiny bit of grease right there where that spring sits, so there's no electrolysis. A little bit of grease right there too. This is gonna move nicely. And then I'm gonna take the backing plate. Um, you make sure it's the facing in the right direction like that. And then I'm gonna grease up the closed side. Just rub a little bit of grease on there, so there's a layer. Lay that back in, like that. Take your screws. And screw them back together. Okay, so we're ready to actually uh, mount the mount onto the boat ready to glue them in. We've greased all the fittings and everything on them and so they're ready to go. One of the tricks to doing this without making a huge mess is to put multiple pairs of gloves on. So you want to have like two or three layers on there. That way you can just peel one layer off at a time as your hands are getting a mess with the 5200 or 4200. So I like to put, I'm right-handed, I, I put a couple more gloves on the right hand that's the one I'm getting messy most of the time. And then maybe two gloves on the left hand. And you'll see how this works. You want to make sure you have your denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol available close by. Um, a nice pile of rags. And then a trash can really close. So we're going to use, we're going to have a socket that's going to tighten up. We're going to have our Phillips head drill bit, and our 5200, our mount, and our backing plate. 5200, and we're gonna 
open it up. Uh, you want to take some on your finger, and depending on your boat, um, it's filled with different kinds of core here. This is fiberglass, and then there's a high density foam layer between, and then there's another layer of fiberglass. So I like to go through here, whether it be wood, fiberglass, whatever, I want to seal off this 5200 or this, uh, this foam core just so it's waterproof, just in case you had water leakage in there. The next step is I'm going to put a little bit of 5200 around the edge here. I'm going to grab my mount. It's not a flat surface all the way around, so you just want to put a, a layer, a thin layer, all the way around on your surface and then around your screw holes. Okay, so the screw holes and then all the way around on the outer edge. because That's going to create a nice seal. I try not to, I avoid this, this uh, mechanism here. So you don't want to put any on the mechanism. And I put some right in that little groove there, little crack. And then right here, just a thin layer. Okay, and then I take a bead, and we're going to put a bead right in where the hole is, all the way around. Nice layer there. Okay, all the way around. Your lever is going to always be on the left side. We're going to drop this in. Lever on the left. Next step, this layer on the top top part of the head. Pop those in and that just creates a little barrier from salt sitting in that between the screw and the and the mount itself. Um, we don't put too much here because we don't want to have a lot of mess to clean up. But you'll see that there's going to be a little thin layer right between that screw and screw head and the mount itself. That's what you want. Okay, so we're going to push all those in, screw hole, and then just a thin layer that's going to help hold it up while we're mounting it. Okay, so we're going to reach up inside there. fit it around the bolts and then you put your washer on and then a bolt you're able to get your nut on less cleanup is always better I cut the towel into smaller pieces that way um, when you make a mess, you have a, you're not using a big, huge towel that you don't know where the glue, where the 5200 adhesive is on it. That way you can clean up stuff and not worry about it too much. So I saved the first towel that has glue on it, set it aside. Now our hands are fairly clean. Go up inside here with the socket and the drill. I'm going to tighten this up. I want to over tighten and pressure it too much, but just nice and snug so it's not going to come loose. up here. Uh, we'll come back later and do a finer, nicer cleanup in a little bit. Right now we're going to move on to the next one. Get the excess off from the edge.
thanks for joining us and watching our um, in installation video on how to install the Bernoulli mounts. Uh, you can find all our product on our website at anglerschoicetackle.com and look for future videos on other uh, videos on tying knots, doing wind ons. Uh, subscribe to our channel and like our video below. Uh, look for future updates and we'll have more coming your way. Thank you.